your child dies. Uh, your marriage is terrible. You married somebody and you find out within a few months or a few years, this man, this woman is so different from what I thought. Um, I thought he was a Christian. I thought she was a Christian, but it seems like he, she is not. Your spouse dies. Just all kinds of different situations where the number one question people ask is, oh God, why? And in those situations, it's kind of like, you know, what, what it's saying right here. There are things that we don't have an answer to. It's too up there for us to understand. And uh, I'm not going to try to figure out everything. But I know one thing that my God knows. He has the answer. So I don't need to know the direct answer of why. But I will be satisfied. I will be content knowing my God knows why he allowed this, why this is going on, his sovereign way of working, the way he works. I don't know why God hasn't answered this prayer. It's been years and years and years. But while I continue to seek him, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to get angry. I hate that even language. I'm just going to look to him and I'm fine with not knowing why or why not yet. I know he's trustworthy and so I'm just going to look to him. Uh, and then verse 2, surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. So the picture that you see in verse 2 Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother. So a weaned child, around three years old. Remember when we were in 1 Samuel chapter 2-ish with Hannah and Samuel? Hannah, no child. Well, look at that example. Hannah, she was barren for years. Hannah, we can be like pretty much certain she was the first wife. But because she was barren, no child, probably for a while, um, the husband ended up getting another wife and then that second wife already had a few children so Hannah was barren for years maybe by then like 10 years plus plus. and remember how she cried out to God she was just praying and I mean she would have wept a lot it's, it's a given she would have wept so much and uh, you know she, she prayed she kind of made a vow oh God if you give me a son, I will give him up to you. And uh, there, remember Hannah, she, um, it says until she weaned Samuel. And so we went over this, that uh, Samuel, um, from the uh, like notes and things from my study, I came to see that a weaned child around three years old, it can be like three, four, five-ish. And so, you know, you can picture a three-year-old. They're pretty little. So look at this verse two. Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother. You can picture like a three-year-old boy. You know, the, the psalmist would, would be a, a man. So, uh, you know, it applies to son or daughter, but just you can picture a little boy that's three, four years old in the bosom holding tightly to mommy. Uh, I think we have all done this, right? I mean, I, I have memories till this day, even though I'm like old now. <laughs> I remember hugging my mom a lot. Um, you know, just it's, it's normal and it's a precious thing. So uh, a wean child with his mother, you know, mothers holding their child. Uh, that's the picture. A wean child with his mother. So David brings up this picture of um, like a weaned child with his mother. You know, what kind of uh, state is the weaned child in when he's with his mother like that? Is he like worried about life? You know, this, this three-year-old boy, you know, I have concern about this world. 
I have all these worries and concerns and I'm stressed about. No. A three-year-old boy is just relaxing um, in the bosom of his mommy. Just no worry. He's just in a world of peace. That's how the psalmist pictures himself. So verse 2, Surely I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother. I think David would have been picturing when he was a little boy with his mom. He gets to that picture and says, I have calmed and quieted my soul like this kind of child with his mother. Like a weaned child is my soul within me. Um, just uh, in absolute peace. And so, you know, Lord, my heart is not proud. My eyes are not lofty. I, I don't concern myself with great, you know, like up there things, high and lofty, whatever things, things that are too profound for me. No, but like a weaned child, I have like quieted, calmed and quieted my soul. Um, you know, this is pretty profound. Like this is something that Christians, that saints should know of. Uh, where, yes, there are going to be things that we don't understand, but you quiet your soul and you look to him and like a kid in his mom's bosom, you're just relaxing and you're just peacefully uh, resting, resting in God. Because I know my God, my living, my, my living God, my God that's alive, I can have peace. Uh, and three, O Israel, hope in Yahweh from this time forth and forever. So, um, yeah, you know, when you know God correctly, the more you correctly know the one true God, you, you can know this, okay? You can really know something of this. Resting in Him, looking to Him, uh, the previous Psalm 130, you know, out of the depths I cried, I have cried out to you, oh God, hear my voice. Yes, we do that too. But also we know something of, in the midst of crying out to God, this, uh, sh this, this shalom, this kind of peace, this comfort and uh, resting, um, you can know that when you know, when you really know him.